Welcome! This video demonstrates how to use the keyboard controls in the Microsoft Make Code Editor for the Microbit. The project shows icons on the LED display and plays a melody. New project. To create a project, go to the Make Code Editor and press Tab to reach Add New Project. Press the Enter key and type the name of your project so you can find it later. Press Enter to open your project. If the tour opens, use Tab and Enter to move through it, or Escape to close it. For this demonstration, we will close the tour. Turn on keyboard controls. To turn on keyboard controls, press Tab to reach Enable Blocks Keyboard Controls, then Enter. The keyboard controls help opens. Close it by pressing escape. Keyboard controls reference. Press control and forward slash to open and close the keyboard controls help. This video uses a Windows computer. On a Mac, in most cases, Command is used instead of control. Move through the help using space to go down and shift and space to go up. To find more information about keyboard controls, including a downloadable keyboard controls PDF, this video and other videos to get you started, follow the link in the top right corner of the keyboard controls help. To close the help, press control and forward slash. Keep it open if you have space on your screen. The editor. The make code editor has different areas that you can move between using the area menu. Open the area menu with control and B. This video includes information on all of the five areas. Press 4 to go to the workspace. The workspace. The workspace is where you connect blocks of code together to build your program. Press the up and down arrow keys to move between blocks on the workspace. The toolbox. From the workspace, there are single letter shortcuts you can use. For example, T opens the toolbox where you can find blocks to add to your program. The single letter shortcuts can only be used from the workspace. In the toolbox, use the up and down arrow keys to move between categories. Use the arrow keys to select the basic section. Press the right arrow to move into the section. To select a show icon block, use the down arrow. Then press enter to add the selected block to the workspace. Move mode. When you add a block to the workspace from the toolbox, it is placed in move mode and has an icon to show this. In move mode, you can use the up and down arrow keys to move the block between positions on the workspace. Pressing the down arrow will move the show icon block to the next connection, which is inside the forever block. In move mode, you can also hold down control or option on Mac and then press arrow keys to move the block anywhere on the workspace. Hold control and then press the left arrow to move the block back to the on start block. Press enter to confirm. You can also press M to put a block into move mode. 
Press Enter to confirm. Create a program with blocks. Use the right arrow to select the Forever block. And then press Delete to delete it, as it is not used in this demonstration. Use the right arrow to select the Show icon block. Use Control and Enter to open the menu for the block. Use the arrow keys to move to Duplicate and Enter to select. You can also use D to duplicate a block and Control c Control v to copy and paste blocks. Press M to put the block into Move mode. Then press Up arrow to move it into position below the other Show icon block. Press Enter to confirm. Press the right arrow to select the icon and then press Enter. This allows you to choose a different icon. Use the arrow keys to move around and then Enter to select a different icon, such as a house. Each time you change your code, the simulator updates and runs the code in the On Start block. To change the position of a block, select it, press M, use the arrow keys to move the block, then enter to place it. To change the order of the blocks, Select the second Show icon block, press M and press the up arrow to move the block, then enter to place it. Use Ctrl and Z to undo and move the block back to its previous position. Using Input Blocks Press T to open the toolbox. Press the down arrow to select the input section. Press the right arrow, then the down arrow to select the on button A pressed block. And then enter to add it to the workspace. The block is added in move mode. You can't use the arrow keys to move this block as top-level blocks can't be moved to another connected position. You can move the block to anywhere on the workspace by holding down Control or Option on the Mac and pressing arrow keys. Press Enter to place the block. Now move the blocks from the On Start block to the On Button A Pressed block. Use the up and down arrow keys to move between blocks. Select the first Show Icon block, press M, and then use the down arrow to move it to the On Button A pressed block. The B and N keys can be used to move between stacks of blocks. B moves back to the previous stack and N moves to the next stack. Use B to move back to the previous stack. Select the second Show icon block. Press M and this time hold down Control when you press the arrow keys to move the block around the workspace. Move the block underneath the other Show Icon block. Press Enter to place the block. Press B to move back to the On Start block. Press Delete to delete the On Start block. Press F to format the code to tidy up the workspace.
Use the simulator. This time you need to press the A button on the simulator to run the on button A pressed code. Hold down control and press B to open the area menu. Press 2 to choose the simulator. Press tab to select the A button. Then press enter to press it. Your on button A pressed code will run on the simulator. Use the search box. You can also use the search box to add blocks. Press Ctrl and B to open the area menu and choose 3 for the toolbox. Start typing play to search for the Play Melody block. Your search will appear in the search box. Press Enter to move to the search results. Press the down arrow to select the Play Melody block. And Enter to add it to the workspace. Use the arrow keys to move it below the first Show icon block. Press Enter to confirm. Press right arrow, right arrow again, and then Enter to edit the melody. Press right arrow to select the gallery. Press Tab to move to the list of melodies. Use the up and down arrow keys to choose a melody. Then enter to choose a melody and escape to confirm. Return to the simulator to run your updated program. Hold down Ctrl and press B to open the area menu. Press 2 to choose the simulator. Press Tab to select the A button. Then press Enter to press it. Your updated on button A pressed code will run. Download. To download your program to your microbit, open the area menu with Ctrl and B and press 5. Press Enter and then follow the instructions. Use Tab and Enter to move through the steps. Starting a new project. To start a new project, Open the area menu with Ctrl and B and press 1. Use Tab to reach the Home button and press Enter. This takes you to the home page where you can create a new project or open an existing project.